Hey there everybody, it's Tom from OSV here. So I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different to our usual content. A few months back we had the brilliant opportunity to go and preview the all new second generation Lexus NX at a dealership ahead of its launch here in the UK. And today is finally the day that we can show you what that was like. So I hope you enjoy and um, we're gonna travel back in time now through the power of editing so we can discover more about this really exciting SUV. Hey everyone, good morning. We're on our way to the Lexus Guildford dealership to check out the all new NX. This is the second generation model, following up the first gen model that came out around seven years ago now. So it's been quite a long wait and we're going to find out how the model's improved in that time. It promises new technology and just an overall better driving experience. So we'll check that out and we'll update you a little bit later on. <laughs> So the all new NX, I'll give you a little bit of background on the car. Um, so it's based on the TNGAK platform, um, that's Toyota's platform, and that's shared by other SUVs like the Highlander and the RAV4, uh, plus the Lexus ES Saloon. Uh, in fact, the second gen model that we're going to be taking a look at represents more of an evolution than a complete design refresh. Uh, you've got much sharper lines alongside the side profile, but all in all, we've still got that trademark front end that we've come to know and love from Lexus vehicles. In fact, 95% of the NX's components are brand new, and this includes the new plug-in hybrid powertrain, the very first time a Lexus model has been electrified in this way with the NX450H variant. So I'm very excited to tell you more about that when we arrive at the dealership. <laughs> Okay, so we've just arrived at the Lexus dealership. Let's go check out the all new NX. Here we are then guys, this is the all new Lexus NX. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. So that spindle grille is now much larger than its predecessor. It certainly stands out on UK roads and you're not going to miss it. And really slim LED headlights that just kind of merge into the grille there. Really gorgeous and angular. Just love what they've done with the design here. Buy LED headlights with auto high beam come as standard and with high spec F Sport and Takumi variants, you get four way LED headlights with adapted high beam for more precise control over visibility. So this is the rear end of the all new Lexus NX. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. So I absolutely love this full width light bar that extends all the way across the vehicle. Really, really nice, very sleek and professional. Um, you'll notice that the Lexus badging is actually absent. They've just gone for the Lexus wording across there and the NX 450H uh, plus wording down the bottom there. And yeah, it quite, creates quite a sleek and professional look and I'm Really a massive fan of what they've done here. All versions of the new NX boast a 521 litre boot capacity, dwarfing the space in the back of rival electrified variants of the Audi Q5 and the Range Rover Evoque. To extend the luggage capacity further, the rear bench folds down in a 60-40 arrangement to comfortably fit an adult's bike and all golf clubs. So here's the side profile of the Lexus NX. So the door mirrors are in a nice gloss black, really nicely complementing the polar white body color that's on this particular model, which stands up really nicely. Door handles again are in that gloss black and you've got some F-Sport badging. So it's the F-Sport trim, that's kind of the sporty trim. And these are 20 inch gloss black alloys, look absolutely gorgeous. Two inches larger than what you get um, with the pre with its predecessor, which is just 18 inch wheels. So yeah, really bold and prominent. Indeed, this F Sport trim gets its own exterior styling consisting of the bold black mesh front grille, metallic coated front bumper, black roof rails and black surrounds for the door mirrors. 
There's a great range of exterior colors to bring out your personality with the new NX. From the velvet black and Fuji red solid paints to the extensive selection of metallic and special metallic options. So here we are, then we're inside the all new Lexus NX and it comes with that new infotainment setup. So you get a really massive 14 inch screen with this particular trim level. It's gonna be 9.8 inches as standard and it's just crystal clear. I much prefer this to the older infotainment setups that you find in current uh, Lexus models. It's also really easy to navigate around as well. Like how you've got physical buttons protruding out of that display and it's nicely angled towards the driver as well. So it's really easy to look at and navigate between the different options while on the move. Fantastic stuff. Wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto come as standard, as does connectivity with the Lexus Link app to plan journeys, receive maintenance information and locate your NX in a crowded car park. The car also supports over-the-air updates to continually enhance the user experience of the infotainment. A 10-speaker audio system is equipped with standard, but audio files can configure the beefier 17-speaker Mark Levinson Premium Surround Sound System for a more immersive listening experience. There's a 7-inch driver display behind the steering wheel and the graphics are nice and sharp. The number of buttons around the dashboard have been reduced by half, creating a significantly decluttered driving environment. In the front, the material quality remains high and legroom is more generous despite only being 20mm longer than its predecessor. We found the seats to be exceptionally comfortable, hardly a surprise though as Lexus has always done this well. As standard, the front seats are heated and upholstered into Hara man-made leather. With this F-Sport variant, you get sportier seats wrapped in high-quality leather. Higher spec models get eight-way electric adjustment for the driver and front passenger seat, a memory function to save your seating configuration to an assigned profile, heated and ventilated front seats, plus heated rear seats for backseat passengers. So the model that we are checking out today, that is the NX450H plug-in hybrid variant. It's the very first FEV from the luxury Japanese brand. It achieves a 36 mile all electric range and it comes to standard as all wheel drive, which is fantastic to see. It's pretty economical as well, as you would probably expect from Lexus. So it can deliver up to 313 miles per gallon. If you're somebody who comes home from work and plugs it into charge overnight, you can really take advantage of some fantastic fuel savings. And it's pretty quick off the block as well. It can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 6.3 seconds. So yeah, pretty impressive considering the size of this vehicle. This plug-in hybrid variant is powered by an efficient 18.1 kilowatt hour battery pack, which in combination with the electric motors fitted to the front and rear axles, produces a combined output of 306 horsepower. If you're thinking about going a hybrid with your new company car to take advantage of tax benefits, then this model is a pretty tantalizing option. Lexus claims CO2 emissions as low as 21 grams per kilometer on the combined cycle, placing this model in one of the lowest benefiting kind tax bands for 2022 to 2023. If you just love Lexus's reliable self-charging hybrid tech, then definitely opt for that NX 350H variant. So with this, you get a 2.4 litre turbocharged i4 engine, a first for the Toyota family. And again, this is all wheel drive as standard, which is fantastic to see. 0 to 62 miles per hour time, slightly lower than that plug-in hybrid model at 7.7 .7 seconds. But yeah, considering the size of this thing, you're gonna really enjoy getting up to speed on a dual carriageway or motorway. The NX 350H, outputs 242 horsepower in its all-wheel drive form. It also comes as standard with the all-new 8-speed automatic transmission and can be configured as front-wheel drive, which slightly increases horsepower and torque, but drops the 0-62 to mph time to a still respectable 8.7 seconds. CO2 emissions are as low as 129 grams per kilometer and can go as high as 145 grams per kilometer with the all-wheel drive variant. Prices for the new NX lineup start from £38,250 with the 350H and £49,450 for the 450H Plus. A considerable premium then to experience the plug-in hybrid technology. To maximise your configuration, you can outfit the NX with additional equipment offered by the Premium and Premium Plus packs and upgrade to the Athletic F Sport or luxurious Takumi grades. Get in touch with OSV's vehicle specialists via the link in the description to explore your options and find your perfect specification. 
So then guys, what do you make of the all new Lexus NX? Is it a big improvement over its predecessor and can you wait to see it on UK roads? Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. Also guys, let us know what you thought of this video. Would you like to see more content like this from us in the future? As always, we'd really appreciate your feedback. If you enjoyed this sneak preview of the NX, then do be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the OSV channel for more motoring content and once you are subscribed, click that notification bell up there to get alerts as soon as the latest videos drop. If you'd like to dive into the NX in a bit more detail, explore your options further, and perhaps even secure yours for 2022 delivery, then get in touch with OSV's vehicle specialists on 01 903 538 835, or click that pop-out banner above to book a consultation at a date or time that works best for you. That's all for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and safe driving.